The developments of technologies provides the potential to expand digital transformation in the healthcare industry in the country. Even the big data analytics use huge multiple sets of real-time data through AI-based algorithms in the healthcare system to provide better services to the society. Hello and welcome to Health Faha Media. I'm Sneha Kumari with you and you're watching our weekly interactive session. And today's topic of discussion is how big data analytics is transforming the healthcare system in the country. For this, we have a very special guest who have joined us to talk about this topic, Mr. Akash Khurana, who is the CEO and co-founder of EHP, which stands for Technology, Healthcare and Big Data Analytics. Uh, hello and welcome to Health Via Media, sir. And uh, today we are going to talk about the very important topic that is how big industry, uh, data analytics is transforming the healthcare sector or healthcare industry in the country. So, uh, and you're closely associated with it. So firstly, uh, sir, we would like to know about what is TBH, uh, uh, THB and uh, what areas does it uh, specialize in? Absolutely. No, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for having me over. And uh, I think this topic is gaining even more importance with everything that's going around us um, and all the epidemic that we are seeing. Uh, would love to talk about that. Just very quickly, uh, THP is a five-year-old uh, data analytics and healthcare technology company. Uh, our entire focus is how do we work with hospitals, diagnostic labs, uh, pharmaceutical companies, insurance companies, how do we work with them to deliver value from the data sets? A lot of data is being generated, uh, but uh, it rarely gets used to its potential. And our focus is to build tools and applications and offerings on that data so people can extract value from all the data that they are generating. So that's our focus and, and I believe we've seen the journey over the last five years of healthcare analytics evolving as well and how suddenly it's transformed in the last year or so. Would love to chat about that. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, so my second question, which is uh, uh, about how a healthcare industry is mushrooming with assistance of clinical data. What are your views on So uh, there are various types of data sets uh, when we talk of healthcare. Uh, there are financial data sets, there are operational data sets, uh, there are demographic data sets, clinical data sets. Of all of these data sets, clinical data sets are actually of prime importance uh, and of prime value uh, because clinical data actually helps you establish the clinical and the healthcare need of a particular individual. Okay. How does so clinical data helps you distinguish between uh, one diabetes patient versus the other uh, mm. because clinical data will tell you whether one patient is taking better care of himself or the other. Both of them may be diabetic. Both of them may be 45 okay. years old. Both of them may have the exact same upbringing and demographic conditions, etc. Okay. However, the clinical data will exactly tell you which patient needs more attention than the other for a simple reason that who has more severe condition uh, than the other. And therefore, clinical data becomes of prime importance. Now, this data, once once it is recorded and available in digital fashion, then helps you provide the right intervention at a patient level. Uh, does a particular patient require intervention related to nutrition? Does one person require intervention with context of uh, fitness? Does he require intervention in terms of a follow-up consultation with a doctor or a yeah. surgery or a post-surgery care and so on and so forth? So clinical data helps you distinguish exact profile and need of a person basis which the care the right care can be provided and basis which the doctor can also be told that what should be the various options of care that he can evaluate basis his knowledge and expertise uh, so clinical data is the one that actually helps you do micro segmentation and and personalized and targeted care for an individual's need okay okay uh, so taking from this, again, I'll uh, like to ask you one, uh, uh, the same related to this only, a question that big data analyti uh, analytics is transforming healthcare industry. So your views on it, like how is data analytics working in this or playing a role in this? No, absolutely. And I think the this question actually has a larger work behind it as well, right? And, you know, usually, usually we talk to... Uh, we talk to professionals, we talk to individuals who want to build career in analytics, etc. The reality is that before actually the analytics can happen, 
there is a lot of work that needs to do in organizing the data cleaning the data massaging the data so that you can then use it for various use cases uh, and and big data analytics is now finally transforming because of two three reasons one over the last one year uh, the data flow has become more digital in nature people have adopted telemedicine people have now started to adopt virtual care models so data is being created online people have realized the value of electronic medical records now that this data is being digitally available the mm. next big uh, humongous task which is being done is how to organize this data in a way that it is meaningfully uh, it can be meaningfully used and and finally all the use cases right and the use cases that i was talking to you earlier that's yeah. about giving the right care and and information to a patient or yeah. it's about telling doctor of the treatment options available or it is about telling the hospital on who are the customers who need immediate attention uh, whether it's designing internal protocols to give better care to patients evaluating one type of therapy be working better when covid or another type of therapy all of this is being enabled only by data right yeah. and i think given the epidemic situation that we have around uh, people have realized the value of capturing this data because no one had any information on how this can be treated right everything has been designed and developed only based on data sets right so people are saying i've seen 100 patients i believe this this therapy works better i believe yeah. plasma does not work better it has not delivered better outcomes so big data analytics is now finally able to provide the required care that uh, that we've been always talking about yes uh, so it's a, like talking about the big data uh, you know how data analytics uh, and data will play an important role so what do you think that how much important it is to digitize the pharmaceutical healthcare sector uh, given the current uh, pandemic situation as well so uh, i think there are two parts here uh, how important is it to digitize the healthcare industry which is mm. the hospitals diagnostic chains and others and mm. how important is it to digitize the pharmaceutical industry uh, and i think both are playing their own roles right uh, yeah. the hospital industry is serving the patients mm. and therefore they need to digitize so that they can provide better care to their patients pharmaceutical mm. companies do not interact with patients directly pharmaceutical companies interact with doctors and the hospitals and they tell them what are the latest molecules latest care available latest trial evidence that is being generated and much of that historically has been dependent on physical reps right so let's say a company launches a new molecule but they only have medical representatives in 100 cities they are actually not able to reach or educate the doctors beyond those 100 cities and therefore those doctors are not able to provide the right, right care to their patients now digitalization basically means that the pharma company can just launch a molecule leverage the digital platforms and reach the entire population of 10 lakh doctors in the country to be able to tell them where is the right drug available how should they reach out to the pharma company and how can the right care reach the right patient and the required patient at the right time so i think both of them are playing their roles right hospitals are playing their role to give yeah. better better care to their patients pharma is playing a role to give better care to doctors who in turn are giving it to patients so i think it's a constant cycle which pretty much starts with pharma companies once they are able to digitalize themselves they widen their reach once doctors get the right information and are digitalized they provide wider care to the patients so it's a continued cycle that's that's elaborating the care access right right okay uh, so uh, knowing from this our viewers will definitely want to know that how are the patients gonna uh, you know when uh, get benefited from this healthcare analytics see at the end of the day uh, you know it's a food chain right you know if you think about it and at the end of the food chain it's the patient so whether it's pharmaceutical company launching a newer molecule it eventually will still reach the patient and he will benefit from it Correct. whether it's a doctor a uh, doctor uh, using data to give better care to the patients it's hmm. still at the end of the day the care who's uh, being provided to the patient to yeah. give you an example hospital wants to use data to make its effic operations efficient if it's making their operations efficient then the cost gets reduced and if the cost gets reduced that's where the cost of treatment goes down for the patient as well it's an indirect benefit to the patient and yeah. if it's a and if it's a 
data driven intervention for a patient it's a direct care for the patient so indirectly or directly patient is the last step of the value chain and he is the one who always benefits from data analytics right right, right. so uh, so they will be benefit you you are saying that they will be benefited a lot uh, by data analytics so every data analytics use case in the healthcare and the clinical industry yeah. will eventually provide direct or indirect benefit to the patient point okay. blank whether it's research whether it's doctor decision support whether it's personalized care whether it's op- making the operations lean and mean whether it's attracting higher investment in the industry mm-hmm. eventually patient benefits directly or indirectly yes yes okay so uh, how do you see the road map of uh, thb uh, your company we talk about and uh, are there any collaborations in the pipeline that we can see, see the the interesting part about healthcare is because it's a large ecosystem the mm-hmm. any business is built on partnerships and collaborations okay. i don't think this this business can run in fragments yeah. uh, and and likewise we are actively collaborating with a series of pharmaceutical companies mm-hmm. uh, we are partnering with a series of insurance companies we are partnering with large hospital groups uh, mm-hmm. with cancer chains with multi speciality hospitals uh with large diabetes centers all of this collaboration is eventually helping us implement the use cases for patients to benefit from it uh okay. sometimes these customers work with us so that the care and the modules can be in- implemented for patients directly sometimes they use the use cases to make their operations better but eventually as i said the collaborations with pharmaceutical insurance hospitals uh all of these partnerships are eventually helping us uh get the care across to the to the patient to the patient okay so i think so uh this these are the questions which uh will give a lot of insights to our audience and viewers so thank you so much for giving us your time and uh, giving us your insights about data analytics which is required sneha uh, thank you thank you thank i you appreciate so your time thank you